Hey guys, how's it going? So I think there's some pretty interesting fights to make in all of boxing. Pretty interesting stuff going on now. You have Anthony Joshua knocking out Francis Ngannou. And then you have a lot of other big fights such as Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney and even Bivol versus Better Beov. So I really think there's a lot of exciting stuff. I still think there's a lot of big fights that need to be made now or relatively soon over the course of the year. So just going to go up through the weight division, starting at the lighter weights and then working up to heavyweights. Starting with Inoue, I really think he's looking good, but I just think he needs uh, some bigger names to fight him. I don't really think there's a lot of guys really for him to face, whether it's uh, bantamweight or featherweight or wherever he's specifically fighting at. I think there's a lot of big names at lightweight and I would like to see him work his way up because I really think it would be great for his career, really get his name out there further and really some excellent fights there. I think he has a lot of technical skills that could give some of these guys a problem. So again, looking at the lightweight division, he could start with someone like Lomachenko. Probably not that big of a difference in size if he was able to bulk up a little bit. I think that would be an extremely interesting technical fight. And then again, just some big guys at lightweight. You could put him against someone like Shakur Stevenson. I think that would be an excellent matchup. Again, depending on the winners and losers, Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. A fight against either of them would be huge. I think most likely Haney and Gervonta Davis will fight next if he wins. But also, Gervonta Davis has talked about fighting Inoue in the future if he's able to meet him at a catchweight, if he's able to come up to lightweight. So a lot of these fights could even happen at a catchweight too, but I think they'd be better at lightweight. I think it would be better for Inoue too if he was able to come up and become the lightweight champion. A lot of other interesting fights in the lightweight division. Would like to see Gervonta Davis fight Shakur Stevenson while Garcia and Haney have their upcoming match. Just to get that out of the way, I think Davis would easily take that, but still think those two should fight. And then again, assuming that Ryan Garcia loses, there's still a lot of opportunities for him. Garcia versus Lomachenko could be a really interesting fight, but obviously Gervonta Davis and uh, Devin Haney is the big fight to make at lightweight. And then moving on up, Terrence Crawford. Don't really think there's a lot left to do where he's at right now. I think he could keep beating guys and staying undefeated, but I really think what would take his career to the next level would be either going up and wait a little bit, again, finding a catch weight. Canelo Alvarez, arguably the two biggest names in boxing. So it really would be a shame if those two don't fight. I could see that being a huge fight. Really could see it going either way. I think that would be really interesting, really a tough matchup for both of them. So that's why I think it likely won't happen. But I think that's really just two names you can't ignore. There has to be a way for them to fight. And then looking at someone like Canelo, not too happy with some of his recent fights. I don't even know the guy who he's fighting currently. Uh, I don't think that's really a good decision. I think Canelo, besides someone like Terrence Crawford, Benavidez is the pretty obvious choice. Don't know why he hasn't fought him. But also for Canelo, I think still a tough loss against Bivol. I think maybe he kind of met his match and kind of found his limit for how high he could go up in weight but still think it was fairly competitive. I still think he could maybe get that back. Don't really see any other interesting fights at light heavyweight. Don't really see a lot of big name guys in cruiserweight. So we're just gonna bump up to heavyweight. I think the heavyweight division is really interesting right now. Tyson Fury and Usyk is already scheduled. But now Anthony Joshua really is a force to be reckoned with. Naganu got a hand it to him. Just really got shut down quickly by Anthony Joshua. I think right now, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. I wouldn't want to be Tyson Fury facing Joshua right now. But if he has some really good camps, uh, does really well against Usyk twice. And then Joshua kind of doesn't have as much competition to keep him warm. Could see that favoring Tyson Fury again, but I think that's a really big fight. You even have someone like Francis Ngannou. I wouldn't say he's out of it yet. Wilder coming off a loss against Joseph Parker. Even another mega fight could be Francis Ngannou versus Deontay Wilder. Could see it going either way. Probably would favor Wilder in this. But I think it would be a good experience for both of them and a good opportunity for bo both of them to stay active. I think that would be 
uh, one of those fights where it could end at any moment. But really would like to see Anthony Joshua uh, hang in there and get a fight against Tyson Fury after this. Him and Usyk is going to be interesting. And, and then again, you can do a lot of stuff with the winners and the losers. A lot of fights left to make. I hope a majority of these, if not all of them, end up do happening. But feel free to let me know if I'm missing anything. Any super fights or dream fights you guys want to see right now in all of boxing. So really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later.